Welcome to the 22nd Annual All Northern Honor Band. My name is Mario Sebastian, your NCBA president. Today is a celebration of a quote from one of our founders, Mr. Roland Nielsen. Good, better, best. Never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. The performers on stage today, from junior high school to high school, is the best of the best. Welcome back. Continuing our celebration of the best of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2018 All Northern High School Honor Band. Please stand if you are performing at the All State Honor Band in 2018. Our high school honor band is successful with logistics and organization with the guidance of our percussion manager, Chris Baker, teacher at Wood Creek High School, NCBA board member, Bob Moorfield, NCBA board member and former director of Woodhill High School, Kathy Edel, NCBA board member and co-director at Lincoln High School, and Virginia Stevens, our honor band coordinator. Also in the audience are librarians Jan Cariotti and Bill Felders. Please stand so we recognize you. We have some scholarship winners chosen by our conductor. This student has been to the, added to the pro, honor band program after, due to a cancellation after program production. Receiving a $250 scholarship for the Donner Mind Music Camp is Noah Rojas. For the Casdale Music Camp, Josh Lyons, French Horn, Livermore High School. Raina Machado Percussion, Houston High School. Karina Geist Piccolo Whitney High School. Tommy Kim Alto Sax Foothill High School. And Jeremy Lawton French Horn Foothill High School. Continuing a musical journey in the high school honor band is another level of commitment and discipline and routine practice. It also takes another level of inspiration. Will the directors 
high school directors, and private instructors of this high school honor band, please stand for recognition. Please stand if you are a high school parent of this honor band and chaperones. Thank you for your hard work in supporting their very busy schedules. The seniors of this honor band will have less than 100 school days left, and every day marks their last. Seniors, please stand to recognize my seniors. The following seniors are being awarded for their years of all Northern Honor Band, four years and above. Nisha Sen from Mission San Jose. Cyan <laughs> Das French Horn from Mission San Jose. <laughs> Benjamin Barstow Trombone from Folsom High School. Alexandra Spencer, Euphonium, Mission San Jose. <laughs> Jamie Guzman, Flute, Sheldon High School. <laughs> Madeline Foster, Clarinet, Benicia High School. Melody May, Clarinet, Foothill High School. And Jeremy Lawton, French Horn, Foothill High School. Five-year All-Northern members, Emma Keisler, Bass Clarinet, Liberty Ranch High School. Devin Rourke, Trumpet, Lincoln High School. <laughs> Elena Zhang, Flute, Foothill High School. <laughs> On the back of your programs are events of NCBA. I'd like to uh, thank our board of directors for NCBA for supporting having Scott Lang. Um, for middle school and high school, please join us on June 2nd. It's in the back. Help us continue to support music education by making your voice heard at school board meetings and visiting your district school administrators and thank them for continuing supporting and funding. Be a part of StandUpForMusic.org, the leading advocacy of visual performing arts. Inspiring in music education for 44 years. His accomplishments and accolades at Lincoln High School for 21 years. It includes superior merit, three Rose Bowl parades, Kennedy Center, and many more. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our 2018 All Northern Honor Band conductor, Mr. Arthur J. Holton Jr.
Good afternoon. We're going to start with the Star Spangled Banner for many reasons. I'm going to share some of them with you. Uh, number one is I have, I'm a very patriotic fellow. My father was in the uh, U.S. Army during World War II, where I'm a baby boomer along with my wonderful wife, Miss Kathy Holton of 48 years down here, whose father was also in World War II, and they both served the military. In fact, we're very proud of the fact that her father was active with General Patton during the Battle of the Bulge, and one of the many brave troops that fought and then freed the Dachau concentration camp, something that affected him for his entire life. I have great respect for our veterans and the members of our military, and I would like to honor them with this performance of John Williams' arrangement of the Star Spangled Banner, which is a very special arrangement. If you hopefully had a chance to read some of the program notes, he wrote this for the USC and Michigan State marching bands to begin a Rose Bowl. And everybody loved it so much that he has now rearranged it for the concert band as of a few years ago for the 200th anniversary of our national anthem. We're going to play a short intro as part of the arrangement. And at the, near the end of that intro, I'm going to turn around and ask you to rise, as is our tradition in, in our country, to honor our nation and to the Star Spangled Banner and our veterans, and then stay on your feet until the end of the Star Spangled Banner. So I hope you enjoy this one. Johnny Williams' arrangement of our Star's Spangled Banner.
Now we'll start our program in earnest with Mr. Yeager's Esprit de Corps. If you are reading your program notes, you'll notice this was actually commissioned for the President's own Marine Band. And uh, Mr. Yeager wanted to do this piece to honor the Marines and what they've done through the years. And he did a terrific job as one of my absolute favorite concert openers. And I have a special dedication to a Marine that I've known for decades. And if you look at your program, it's for Mr. Roland Nielsen and his wife, Elsie Nielsen, that we lost this last year, who was a great friend and mentor. I met, met him for the first time in 1974, at the very beginning of my teaching career. And he and Ron Jones took me on as mentors, helped me through those first difficult years, people I could ask questions to, learn things from, and made, made me so much more successful than it would have been without him. So this is for Elsie and Roland Nielsen, a great loss to the education community, to Ben, and to NCBA, because he was one of the founding fathers of the organization that made all of these kind of things that happened. So this is for Roland and Elsie, and Esprit de Corps.
South Dakota, in the mountains and in the surrounding Mount Rushmore, and that beautiful area of our nation that's probably pretty darn cold right now. But anyway, it's a, just a gorgeous picture if you've ever been there or just been in beautiful granite mountains with pine trees and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it, it draws a gorgeous picture and it has a lot of musical subtleties in it which you've had to work very hard on to get done. But we hope you enjoy this picture of a that northern part of America, Dakota Rhapsody.
very rarely ever seen an honored man with 11 percussion. <laughs> That's because of the next two pieces. Both of these required a ton of percussion. There are so many sounds that need to be made by them. Now I'd like to dedicate this next number. La Mesquita de Cordoba is a Catholic cathedral in Spain. City of Cordoba, La Mesquita is the name of the church, the cathedral. It goes way back in history. I wasn't able to give you all of that. It was a Catholic church site back in the 600s. And then it was over, Spain was overtaken by the Islamic religion. And that site was then ripped down and then rebuilt as a mosque. And through centuries, the mosque got larger and larger and more and more elaborate, acres and acres of property. And at some point in the history, if you know your history, the, um, there was a civil war. The Catholics came down from the north, reconquered, made Spain back into a Catholic religion, and such is history. But what I want to dedicate to you is this. The history during the hundreds of years it was a mosque was, the mosque was several hundred acres large. Within the mosque, all religions were respected. Jewish religion had a segment of the mosque, the Christian religion, all the other reliefs that were happening during the course of that era were welcome into the site, and all religion, religious beliefs were respected and coexist peacefully. What a concept, okay? Hundreds and hundreds, thousands of years ago, all these religions were able to get together under one roof, cooperate, respect. Boy, wouldn't that be cool if we had that now, yes? Okay. So I'm gonna dedicate that to that idea. This piece is a wonderful piece. This is our major work for this concert. It is a La Mesquita de Cordoba. It has all these segments that re represent all the various faiths and beliefs and history, thousands plus years history of this church and this site, this religious site. And it's a great piece. I hope you really enjoy it. La Mesquita de Cordoba and Julie Giroux. Yes, she's a wonderful composer and a female, and she is writing an amazing amount of wonderful music for concert band these days. So. I recommend it to any of you out there that are band directors. Look at her stuff from beginning band on up. It's terrific things. Here we go, you guys.
On behalf of the entire band, I just wanted to take a second and say thank you so much for everything you've taught us this weekend, for the level that you got this band to, and for making this such an unforgettable experience. Thank you so much. didn't give me one ounce of unfocusedness. They stayed with me. I didn't have to tell anybody to stop talking. They were with me the whole time. It was incredible. In fact, I found things, as I've done these piece, pieces a few times, I found things because they were so good that I hadn't even been able to get to with other ensembles, fixing problems and things and details and stuff. So it was just wonderful. Would you give these kids a They're amazing. last piece is for them. You notice I changed the order, I forgot to tell you. Okay, I thought it, listened to it, studied it, and finally said we've got to handle it parkour. Okay, and old folks, admit it, raise your hand if you don't really know what parkour is. Come on, raise them up. Yeah, I asked them, they all knew. What parkour is, if you're not aware, is incredible athletic feats. Not using equipment, just using walls, stairs, anything they can do that people do. And they post them on YouTube, right guys? Help educate the old guy here. They post them on YouTube and stuff. And it's just incredibly amazing the things they're doing. They're, they're jumping off walls, running the sides of walls, you know, stairs. It's just incredible stuff. And Mr. Hazo, who had this commissioned to write, tried his best to make parkour into a piece of music. So this is hard, it's rhythmic, there's a lot of time changes, it's fun. We hope you have as much fun with it as we had doing it. So thank you very much for being here and thank you very much to all of you for and my colleagues for allowing me to have the privilege of working with these students these last couple of days. Let's have some fun. Parkour.
announcement, so here you have mine. So thank you again. Take care of these wonderful students. Have a safe drive home.